Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Brandon, and back again with Critical Failure with Harley. Uh, and like I said, we have the camera and everything back. And yes, I did just nearly fall out of my chair. Uh, because I accidentally forgot the encounters for the Banshee a long time ago, about two weeks ago, plus maybe. Uh, I'm going to go through the encounters for the Banshee and do the Bullywug next for its video. Because that's kind of stupid that I fucked it up and forgot about it. So, my fault. But I got my trusty Devil's Backbone Oktoberfest beer. I got Harley. So, I'm going to actually scoot over so you can get more into the video. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to probably ask her opinion on what she thinks she can do with the Banshee. Because I would like to see what she can come up with for encounters in general. Even just like anything lore-wise that could make sense. Because you probably know a little bit about the Banshee. Uh, I'm the one who read it, didn't I? Yeah, you read the Banshee. So I'm hoping that you have something that you can bring into it. Even if it's like a real-world aspect that yeah. I could make I'm, into D&D. &D, that would be really cool. I know a lot about like, like folklore Banshees. Yeah, that, it's basically the same thing. It's just for some reason it's always an elf woman, and it's practically the same from there. So it's all good. Uh, but yeah, we'll get straight into it. Uh, because I'm going off the cuff on this one. I actually didn't really care to write one for this. Uh, I'm saying, because I'm actually going to grab the monster manual instead of being a jackass about this. Turn to it. Uh Okay, so a lot of this is already making sense and stuff that I would already come up with. Uh, now, I wouldn't say that it has to be a elf woman for it to be a banshee. It can be males. It can be... It, if you want, it does go against stereotypical and very well-established lore in real life to make it non-female. Uh, non but it's fine to me. I mean, like, it's up to you as a DM. Uh, now it does say it have to it has to be an elf for some fucking reason. In this, a creature formed for the spirit of a female elf. I'd say it could be whatever fucking race it wants to be. Just because, you know, it's D&D. &D. You can do what the fuck you please. I would say that just because it's forced to relive its... Uh, relive? Yeah, forced to relive every moment of its life with perfect recall, yet always refuses to accept responsibility for its doom. So yeah, that was right. Uh, I would say if you are perceptible enough into Arcana, uh, or even have some sort of inkling of what happened in terms of its death, so say it's like a very well-known legend, you would be able to make some sort of investigation check or perception check, Arcana check, based on how you want to do it as DM. And you might be able to see how this creature uh, ended up dying, which would be really cool. Uh, I s would say if a creature was killed by the Banshee, a shadow? I I'm thinking it's a creature shadow. Let me look it up because it's either shade or shadow. I think it's called a shadow. I would say a shadow is popping up where the creature was killed. Let me look. Spectre. It might be Spectre. No, it's not Spectre. It's 297. Let me look at 297 to see if it's... What, okay, there's a shadow. So that is not what I was thinking. Yeah, Spectre right there. Yeah, uh, 279. I was wrong. But I'd say Spectre appears in its place. So it's based on how you want to do it. But yeah, that's just me. So I would say do that. Just to bolster up the type of encounter you are going to be facing with your party. Uh, I would say the health is actually really good for it, 58. Uh, it probably has advantage on some sort of history check. I mean, it, dealing with its surrounding area, uh, it would know things that would happen since it's been dead. Uh, it hasn't been re-killed, so up to you 
It's actually really resistant, really immune to a lot of things. So it's already going to be extremely difficult to attack these things because uh, it's resistant to acid, fire, lightning, thunder, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing with non-magical attacks, and it's immune to cold, necrotic, and poison. Meaning that the only thing is not resistant or immune to is psychic and force. Psychic so damage. it's actually really cool that it does that. In my opinion, this creature is already really good, except for like some just base homebrew changes. I think this is really potent if you really want to fuck a party over boost the fuck out of its ac and make it immune to acid lightning and thunder or at least acid and thunder because thunder is basically just a sound right and it's dead why would it be affected by sound so acid thunder uh fire and lightning um make it re normal resistant with the bludgeon piercing and slashing from non-magical silvered weapons which makes more sense uh for that one do that uh, and boost its fucking health up. Give it at least a 100 health uh, HP, maybe 120, based on the encounter you want to go for. Uh, and then have it wandering over, like the ruins of a castle. Uh, you know, basic format stuff that you would assume would happen. I think that would be really wise. Or you could have it literally coming through like in a... I, I need this actually. Uh, you could have it walking through uh, a set mile radius of its death site in the woods which i've encountered in the woods uh a really cool one is if you encounter a non-hostile banshee and you know because i've always liked going by just because it's a monster doesn't mean that it's hostile so i think it'd be really cool to do a non-hostile combat type of situation where you possibly talk to a child banshee and the banshee is enraged and is wanting to lash out but instead it decides or if you talk to the banshee you convince it to basically get things off its chest and you might have a quest after that like it could be a recently formed banshee or a vendetta that this thing might have so it's up to you on how you want to do it so yeah um did you have anything harley i don't know <laughs> you do not know and why is it that you do not know because uh, my brain isn't working right now. <laughs> I get that. We're both very tired. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. That is the encounters for the Banshee. Sorry, I'm doing some phone stuff right now uh, for my channel. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, comment down below if there's anything that you would like us to do. You know, things like that. Things that we would actually genuinely appreciate. Uh, but yeah. Wow, I'm really far into this, I think. Sorry, I'm looking all into my uh, watch feed. I didn't realize that I had so much into it. You're so cute. I remember seeing all this, so I guess I'm much further than I expected. But I don't remember being all the way through here. Hmm. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Sorry, I'm just really focused on uh, looking at my watch feed on this channel. So thank you guys. Uh, really, if you do have something that you would like to add for the Banshee, please do so. I'm actually very interested. I personally haven't used a Banshee. I've had come in contact with one in the game, but I personally don't really necessarily care for them. They are... Like a lot of monsters, just filler monsters that you would just kind of have. So if you got something really cool, let me know. Because if I could possibly use it for my own channel, uh, not channel, but own campaigns and stuff like that, I would use it. Like the idea that I just came up with was actually not that bad for me. So I think it's a useful one. But what about you guys? What do you guys think? But yeah, anyway, see you guys in the next video. Peace.